5 Apache Leaders Who Left Their Mark in History Throughout history, the Apaches have shown unwavering resistance against overwhelmingly superior enemies. They have fought against other Native Americans, resisted the Spanish, faced the Mexicans, and challenged the Americans. The Apaches resisted longer than any other indigenous people, and among them emerged leaders of unmatched bravery and strength. Here, we present five Apache leaders who deserve to be better known. 1. Victorio, and tireless defender of his people. Victorio, leader of the Apache Kirikuyua Band, fought alongside Mangas Coloradus in 1855 and negotiated peace with Cochise in 1862. Despite his tribe's repeated forced relocations, Victorio never stopped fighting for the freedom of his people. His bravery was demonstrated in the battle at the Cerro de Three Costelos, where he died alongside 60 to other Apache warriors and 16 women and children in an ambush led by Colonel Joaquin Terrazas in 1880. 2. Mangas Coloradus, the giant of Apache resistance. Mangas Coloradus, a tall and robust man standing around 1.90 meters, distinguished himself in the Battle of Apache Pass, the first major conflict between Apaches and American military forces. Together with Cochise, he led a group of Apaches armed with rifles, intercepting a supply convoy sent by the Union Army. 3. Knife Black, the leader who defied enemies. Knife Black was one of the main Apache leaders during the 1840s and 1850s. His influence extended from the west of the Rio Grande to the Black Range in New Mexico. He was a contemporary and collaborator of Mangas Coloradus, demonstrating his leadership and bravery in each confrontation. 4. The Unknown But Relentless Apache Few people know the chief of the Apache Nod, but his leadership and bravery are indisputable. Nay, whose real name was Yaqui Natchez, was a feared Apache for his feats as a raider. His leadership, comparable to that of Mangas Coloradus, Cochise, Victorio, or Jernimo, continued until his death in 1883. 5. Jernimo, the warrior transformed by tragedy. Jernimo, born in Nadoyan Ken, Arizona, in 1829, lived a tragic transformation from a friendly individual to a valiant warrior after the massacre of his family by Mexican troops. This tragic event marked the beginning of a revenge that would last his entire life. Jernimo joined the fearsome Apache tribe of the Kirikayua and participated in numerous attacks in northern Mexico and what is now known as the states of New Mexico and Arizona. For over three decades, Jernimo became a charismatic and courageous leader, tirelessly fighting against the forces of the American and Mexican governments. These five Apache leaders, despite adversity, demonstrated exemplary strength and bravery.